إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخر الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار معاشر المسلمين الله سبحانه وتعالى يقول يا أيها الذين آمنوا أو يهو بليف كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم Fasting has been prescribed for you like it was prescribed for the Muslims before you لعلكم تتقون With the sole aim and purpose and intention لعلكم تتقون So that you can become people of taqwa Nine nights of Ramadan have passed with this being the ninth day of fasting. It is time, in fact, it is past time for us to start to reach the goal of لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ The goal behind fasting is not to lose weight. The goal behind fasting is not just to change your schedule. The goal behind fasting is not just for you to be someone who is not like in Ramadan or outside of Ramadan, no. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So you can become people of taqwa. And taqwa is getting close to Allah by worshipping Him and staying away from the prohibitions. That is taqwa. And that is what you call the fear of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then He says, أيام معدودات. It is only a few days. Allah سبحانه وتعالى tells us about fasting. أيام معدودات. It is but a few days. And if you want to know how few they are, look how nine have flied. Nine already. With tonight being the tenth night. أياماً معدودات a few a few days فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم so whoever of you witnesses this month let him fast because it is one of the best ways to get close to Allah Allah سبحانه وتعالى then in the next verse he says to us شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن the month of Ramadan, the month of Ramadan, and that is the only time Ramadan is mentioned in the Quran. This one time, Shahr Ramadan, الذي it is the month in which أنزل فيه القرآن. The Quran was revealed in it. هدى للناس بينات من الهدى والفرقان. The Quran, which is a guidance for the people and a clarification of what you need to be guided. And a furqan, distinguishing and the criteria between good and bad, truth and falsehood. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tied Ramadan to the Quran, or He tied the Quran to Ramadan. And there's a secret behind that. Because this is the month of the Quran. We have to know, uh, my, uh, my brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَرَبُّكَ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَارُ And it is your Lord who creates what He wants. 
and he chooses what he wants وَرَبُّكَ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَارُ Your Lord, it is He who creates what He wants and He chooses and makes special from what He created what He wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created the humankind in billions if not trillions. And He chose from them the five, Ulul Azm, Nuh and Ibrahim and Musa and Isa and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And from them He chose Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa yakhtar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created the days. And He chose from the weekly days, Friday, to be the best day. وَيَخْتَارُ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He chose of all of the days of the year, يَوْمُ nahr, The day of Eid al-Hajj al-Akbar. That is the greatest day of the year, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He said. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created the earth and the lands in it. And Allah, He chose Mecca over all the other lands. ويختار. Just like Allah, He revealed books. And from all the books, He made this book the most special one, Al-Quran. So if you want to know the status of the Quran in Ramadan, and if you want to know the excellence of the Quran in Ramadan, it is like comparing Mecca to any other city. It is like comparing the Prophet وسلم, to any other prophet. That is how great Ramadan is compared to the other months, and that is how great the Quran is compared to the other books. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah nazzala ahsan al hadith. Allah has revealed the Quran, which is the best words. Kitaban mutashabihan mathani. A book whose parts resemble each other and it repeats itself because of the great message in it. When those who believe in their Lord and they fear Him when they read the Quran, their bodies they shake. And then their hearts and their bodies they find calmness and peace in the dhikr of Allah, the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He glorified Himself by Him revealing the Quran. Tabarak alladhi nazzal al furqana ala abdi. Allah, He said, Blessed and exalted is He, Allah, the one who revealed the furqan to His slave Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, athna ala nafsi, He praised Himself for revealing the Quran. الحمد لله الذي نزل على عبده الكتاب أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا. All perfect praise belongs to Allah who sent down this book. And in it there's no contradiction. قيما it is upright. Allah سبحانه وتعالى he called this book a book which is blessed. وهذا كتاب أنزلناه مبارك. And this book which we have revealed which is blessed. Just like this is Shahrun Mubarak, this book is also Mubarak. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, This book is perfect. Kitabun uhkimat ayatuhu thumma fusilat min ladun hakim in khabir. A book whose verses have been perfected and then they've been explained in clear detail. It is from the one who's the most wise, the one who knows everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He called this book full of wisdom. وَالْقُرْآنِ الْحَكِيمِ Allah says, I swear by the Qur'an full of wisdom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, this Qur'an is a reminder to us. وَالْقُرْآنِ ذِي الذِّكْرِ And the Qur'an which is a reminder for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is the guidance for those who want to go to Jannah and be saved from the hellfire. هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ It is a guidance for those who fear their Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He called His book, Ruh, the soul. Because nobody, you might be living and breathing and eating, but if you have no Quran in you, you are dead. You are dead. You are dead before your death. You are dead before your death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And like that, we reveal to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a ruh, a spirit, a soul. That's what gives so a, a spirit to your iman. That is why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, 
الذي ليس في جوفه شيء من القرآن كبيت الخرب the one who has nothing of the Quran in his heart is like the ruins the house which is broken down what benefit is that house Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says this book is a shifa it's a medicine it is a cure for the people wallahi nobody who suffers stress or distress or anxiety or sadness or sorrow or anything and he reads the quran except that allah cures him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ikhwan ya ayyuhan nas o humankind qad ja'atkum maw'izatun min rabbikum there has come to you a maw'izah from your lord a reminder there has come to you a reminder from your lord and also it is a cure and it is a guidance for those who believe قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ أَفْرَحُ Allah says say to them by the fadl of Allah that is Islam and the rahm of Allah that is the book that is the reason we're supposed to become happy about هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ that is better than the paychecks we're running for and the money we're running for that is what we should become happy for Allah says that in Surah Yunus that is what you should become happy for that Allah revealed to you a book and the Prophet ﷺ was given great miracles he was given great miracles he went up to the seventh heaven he used to speak to animals the moon was split and all other great miracles yet he says to us وسلم, ما من نبي ما من نبي من الأنبياء إلا وقد أوتي ما مثل ما به مثل آمن به الناس. There's no prophet except that he was given something, a miracle, through which people believed in him. وكان الذي أوتيت هذا الوحي. And the greatest miracle I have been given is this wahi, this Quran. فأرجو أن أكون أكثر نبيا تبعا يوم القيامة وهو. So I hope to be the Prophet who has the most followers on the Day of Judgment. And he is. The greatest miracle to be revealed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ Allah says he has made this Quran easy to remember in more than five or ten times of the Quran. But Allah then asks, فَهَلْ بِالْمُدَّكِرِ Are there any of you who are going to take it and remember this Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us, إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمْ This Quran and this only Quran, only the Quran, it guides to everything which is best. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhum in the hadith I mentioned last week to show you that this is the month of the Quran, just like this is the month of fasting, just like this is the month of taraweeh and qiyamul layl, just like this is the month of giving and charity. He describes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by saying, كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَجْوَدَ النَّاسِ He used to be the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the most generous of people. وَكَانَ أَجْوَدُ مَا يَكُونُ فِي رَمَضَانِ And he used to be more generous in Ramadan. حِينَ يَلْقَاهُ جِبْرِيلُ When Jibreel used to come and meet him. فَيُدَرِّسَهُ الْقُرْآنِ And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would sit and read the Quran to Jibreel alayhi wa sallam every night of Ramadan and they would finish the whole Quran every Ramadan and the last Ramadan he was alive sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he read the Quran twice to Jibreel in one Ramadan if that is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the best and the most the best chosen Prophet of Allah with the best chosen angel of Allah they are studying in the best chosen month of Allah the best chosen book of Allah what about me and you what about me and you? Where are we from the Quran? And we should fear. We should fear to be from those who turn away from the Quran. And then Allah punishes us. Psychologically and physically. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَعْشُ عَنْ ذِكْرِ الرَّحْمَانِ نُقَيِّدْ لَهُ شَيْطَانًا فَهُوَ لَهُ قَرِينٌ And whoever turns away from the dhikr of Allah, whoever turns away from the Quran, and Ya'ashu, it is just to blink away. Whoever blinks away from the Quran, Allah says, what happens to you? نُقَيِّضْ لَهُ شَيْطَانًا That is when the devils, they come and attack you. 
قرين and the devils are your قرين they are your friends that is why you see you don't do any good and when you want to do good even two rakahs seem like you're carrying a mountain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he warns us ومن اعرض عن ذكري فان له معيشه ضنكا and whoever turns away from my remembrance the quran then he shall have a tough life that is the promise of allah you shall have a tough life you will have a tough life if you turn away from the quran and we should fear the day when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam comes to complain wa qala ar-rasul ya rabb inna qaum ittakhadha hadha al-qur'ana mahjura you'll say ya rabb on that day of judgment the best prophet will say oh my lord my people took the quran as something to be left we should fear to be from that group and maybe if you have problems in your life wallahi it is time to ask yourself sincerely maybe this is the problem i have in my life maybe this is the source of the problems where am i from the quran وهذا كتاب مبارك ان الله says this blessed book you take it it brings blessings in your life you leave it it brings sadness and sorrow and every kind of difficulty the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said khayrukum man ta'allama alquran wa 'allamahu and this hadith is reported by uthman ibn affan radiyallahu anhu and from uthman it is reported by abdur rahman as-sulami khayrukum the best of you the best of you it's not by skin color or the money you have or the job you have it doesn't matter khayrukum the best of you man ta'allama alquran those who learn the quran not just read it they learn the quran they learn the quran how sad it is how sad it is that the majority of muslims and i'm making this statement because that's what i feel the majority of muslims if you are to ask them wallahi today what is the meaning of what is the meaning of a surah he's been reading for 20 30 50 years he doesn't know what are you doing then you're gonna cry the ummah oh look at those leaders don't look at the leaders look at yourself first look at yourself the best of you are those who learn the quran not just read the quran that is why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to learn the quran from jibril the whole month and then wa'allamahu and then he teaches it those are the best people that is why it was the job of jibril alayhi salam that is why it was the job of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that is why it was the job of abu bakr and uthman and ali That is where was the job of the Sahaba. Abu, Abu Abdul Rahman al-Sulami who narrated this hadith from Uthman. After narrating this hadith, he would say, وَهَذَا الَّذِي أَقْعَدَ لِمَقْعَدِ هَذَا أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً فَدَرَّسَ الْقُرْآنَ فِي مَسْجِدْ كُوفَ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً He would say, this hadith is the one which has made me sit here. He taught the Quran for 40 years in the masjid in Kufa. That is the best job. That is the best job. For you to learn the Quran and then teach it to others. Khayrukum, the best of you. Aqulu ma tasma'oon wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fastaghfiru. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillahi hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت باركت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم عن خلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر أصحابه أجمعين The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
he said to us in the hadith reported by Imam An Nasai and Imam At Tirmidhi. Yujau bi sahib al Quran yom al Qiyama. On the day of judgment, sahib al Quran, and this word it comes a lot in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sahib al Quran. صاحب القرآن هو الذي يقرأه بالترتيل ويحفظ القرآن ويتعاهده ويتعلمه ويعمل به صاحب القرآن the companion of the Quran is the one who recites the Quran and recites it with proper تجويد and ترتيل and he memorizes the Quran and he's constant with the Quran is not just in Ramadan and he learns and he studies the Quran because that is the goal behind the Quran and the greater goal, he acts on the Quran. Or before going to that hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa again to show us the tie between fasting and the Quran. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Al-Quran wa siyam yashfa'ani yawm al-qiyamah. The Quran and the fasting, they will intercede for you. They will ask for you in front of Allah. يقول القرآن the Quran will say يا رب يا رب منعته النوم منعته النوم بالليل فشفعني فيه I prevented him from sleeping because he was standing up for tarawih he was standing up for qiyam al-layl he was reading the Quran in the depths of the night so let me intercede for him فيشفع so the Quran will ask for you to go to Jannah ويقول الصيام and the fasting will say يا رب منعته الطعام والشراب والشهوات I prevented him from eating and drinking and his desires فشفعني فيه so let him intercede for him فيشفعان and they'll intercede for you فيدخل الجنة we ask Allah to make us from the people of الجنة يجاء بصاحب القرآن the companion of the Quran will be brought on the day of judgment فيقول القرآن إن القرآن والأسف فيه ملصي يا رب يا رب أو الله ما يلاد حله أدون him beautify him فيلبس تاج الكرامة and is given a crown of nobility this is in front of everybody the day when everybody will be resurrected in one field the people of the Quran will stand out the Quran will ask Allah, Ya Rabb, adorn him, beautify him. For you will karam will be given a crown of nobility. Like how the kings today wear crowns of gold, you'll be given a crown of nobility, karama. For yaqulu zidhu Ya Rabb, and the Quran say, Ya Rabb, increase him. For you will karama, and he's given a robe of nobility. Thumma yuqalu lahu, then it is said to him, اقرأ ورتا وارقى ورقي ورتا ورتل. he'll be told اقرأ read the Quran like you used to read ورتل and reread it with proper ترتيل وارتقي and you go up فإن آخر منزلتك because your last stage will be the last verse you memorized of this dunya. more than that more than that يا إخوان from the barakah of the Quran, is not, it's not just for you. The Quran, it changes the whole society. The Quran is one of the best things to do for your parents. Whether your parents are alive or dead, it doesn't matter. In the hadith reported in the Musnad of Imam Ahmad, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, يُؤْتَ بِالْوَالِدِ يُؤْتَ بِالْوَالِدَانِ the two parents will be brought on the day of judgment. They'll be given a crown to wear. A crown which is so shining, it is shining more than the sun. And then they'll be brought again. They'll be brought again. For yulbasani hulla, and they are given robes to wear or bracelets to wear. 
If you take the whole wealth of the world today, it's not equal to that. فيقولان, and then they ask, Ya Rab, how did we get this? How did we get this? Because they know maybe they don't deserve it. فيقال لهم, or فيقال لهم, and it is said to them, بأخذ ولدكم القرآن by your child being someone of the Quran, your parents will be honored like that. They'll be told because of your child being someone of the Quran, someone who used to read the Quran and learn the Quran and memorize the Quran and act on the Quran, your parents will be honored like that. That is enough of a reason to make us people of the Quran, ikhwan. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu he said as in the Muslim Imam Ahmad again qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna lillahi ahlina fil ard surely Allah has his special people he chose on the earth qalu man hum ya rasulullah when he said this, they asked, they said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, who are these people? Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ahlul Qur'an. Hum ahlullahi wa khasatu. The people of the Qur'an. They are the people of Allah and His special ones. Just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he chose of all the prophets, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And just like he chose of all the lands, Makkah. And just like he chose of all the months, Ramadan. And just like he chose of all of the days of the week, Friday. And just like he chose of all of the days of the year, the greater day of the day of Eid of uh, Hajj al-Akbar. Likewise, Allah chose of the people, the people of the Quran. Qumul salam.